Bernard Arnault and his conglomerate of companies. Who is Bernard Arnault? Bernard Arnault was brought into the world in 1949 in Roubaix, a modern city in the north of France. His dad, a conspicuous maker, claimed a structural design and property organization, Ferret Savinel. Arnault's mom, who had an interest for Dior, verified that her child was traditionally prepared on the piano. Seven years later, Arnault made Christian Dior the gem of high fashion that had entranced his mom, the foundation of his worldwide luxury company. In 1971, Arnault procured a college degree from École Polytechnique, the most particular designing school in France, and joined his dad's business as chief construction officer. In his most memorable job out of college, Arnault showed the strength and business keenness that would later put him on the map, including convincing his dad to auction the development business and increase interest in land. By 1976, Arnault was driving the move into an exceptionally productive, fresh out of the box new area in the land, building timeshare properties. Arnault succeeded his dad as CEO in 1977 and as chairman in 1978, giving him complete control of the privately owned company at 29. LMVH, Arnault's conglomerate of companies. In 1984, Bernard Arnault discovered that Christian Dior was available to be purchased. Its parent organization, Boussac, had declared financial insolvency, and the French government searched for a purchaser for the debilitated material domain that claimed various organizations, including Paris-based design house Dior. Supposedly, the then 35-year-old Arnaud, who had gone through the past 10 years heading up the development firm established by his granddad, took $15 million from his family, joined it with $45 million from French monetary foundation Lazard Frears, and bought Boussac in a mission to get his hands on the celebrated French-style house. According to the New York Times, in something like two years of securing Boussac, Arnaud had pushed the company into the dark, laying off 9,000 laborers and auctioning off its dispensable diaper division and the vast majority of its material tasks for $500 million. While that arrangement helped Arnaud to jump from his family's $15 million a year business to an organization multiple times as huge, and procured him the title of a power to deal with in French business. And ever obtaining was to follow his 1990 binge to oversee Louis Vieden Moe Hennessy, the Pack Style House and Spirits organization in which Arnaud originally put resources in the late 1980s. From that point forward, Arnaud, presently 71 years of age and among the wealthiest men on the planet, as indicated by Bloomberg's running tycoons list, has burned through billions of dollars and worked persistently to store up something like 70 extravagance brands under the umbrella of the gathering that is currently instituted LVMH, Moe Hennessy Louis Vuitton. Pondering his plan to put so many extravagance brands, incorporating those rivaling one another under one rooftop, Arnaud told CNBC in 2018, In the 90s, I had an idea of a luxury group. At the time, I was very much criticized for it. I remember people telling me it doesn't make sense to put together so many brands. And it was a success. And for the last 10 years, every competitor has tried to imitate, which is very rewarding. I think they are not successful, but they try. Tiffany Company and Bulgari Leading Companies of LVMH. Tiffany was established by Charles Louis Tiffany in 1837 and has since developed into a main worldwide plan house with a standing for imaginative gems plan and master craftsmanship. The organization offers pieces of jewelry, armbands, hoops, rings, watches, and various home extras and scents. 
LVMH reported plans to obtain Tiffany in late 2019 in an understanding that esteemed the gem specialist at roughly $16.2 billion. However, the COVID pandemic and its adverse consequences on the extravagance gems market provoked Arnaud to reevaluate a rebate from the initially settled upon obtaining cost. His underlying interest for an 11% decrease in the arrangement cost was met with a claim for Tiffany insisting on guaranteeing the implementation of the underlying obtaining cost. Eventually, the two organizations consented to a price tag of $131.50 per share, a 2.6% markdown from the initially settled upon $135 per share carrying the all-out price tag to roughly $15.8 billion. Known for imaginative and bright gems plans, Bulgari has been at the front line of extravagance products since its establishment in 1884 by Satrio Bulgari. The arrangement LVMH declared in March 2011 certainly extended the organization's watches and jewelry business. The procurement remembered the acquisition of a 50.4% stake for Bulgari from the Bulgari family and a delicate proposal until the company's end. Watches and Jewelry stays one of the more modest LVMH bunches regarding benefits. In 2020, this gathering conveyed a $0.3 billion profit on $3.4 billion in income. That's all for today, guys. We believe this information was valuable for you. We appreciate your trust in our research. Please leave a like for this video. Also, comment down and tell us what you want more from us. We will appreciate your feedback and suggestions. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon in the following video. Stay tuned and connected.